welcome back to my channel. So today I have another magnetic lash tutorial for you. So I posted on my social media pages asking people what lash style would they like to see a demo on because I just recently got three new styles in the mail. So I asked if everyone could vote and then I was going to do a demo on that video. And it was a dead even um, responses for two different styles. So I'm just going to pick one and there we go. <laughs> so two of the lash styles that I received, oh, disclaimer, sorry. <laughs> disclaimer, I am a Tory Bell affiliate. There we go. Okay, so um, one of the styles I got is called Date Night. It is very beautiful. I have not tried these yet. Here are the Date Night Lashes. Like, oh my god, y'all. How gorgeous are these? And then the anchors at the bottom. And then the other style I had people um, vote on was Selfie. And you guys, like, check these out. Oh my heck. Like, these are gorgeous. They are so long, so beautiful, so dramatic. And then these also I had a call come through and it interrupted my video. Didn't know the number, so decline. Red button. Anyways, so these are the two lashes that I had people vote on for the live demo. I'm going to show you guys them side by side because they're just so pretty. Oh my God. They are side by side. We've got the selfie and we also have the date night and they're just so beautiful, you guys. Oh my gosh. So I posted the poll for people to vote on. Um, I did it on my Instagram at ginger.girl.tiffany. I also did it on my Facebook page, One Ginger Girl, and within my exclusive private VIP group, uh, Glam with Tiffany. So <laughs> everyone voted like it was a dead even tie. I had the same amount of votes for date night and the same amount of votes for selfie. So I'm going to just make my decision. Drum roll, please. I am going to go with date night. So here we go. All right, so if you have never tried these magnetic lashes before, um, seriously, you gotta try them. They're way better than adhesive lashes with glue, y'all. So I've used the ones with glue before. I never really had too much of an issue unless you would consider gluing your eyelashes together an issue. <laughs> um, but I just never really liked, you know, that look. Um, I always felt like I could tell I was wearing fake eyelashes. Um, and I don't know. I just never really felt like they adhered like they're supposed to. So when I heard about these magnetic eyelashes, I gave them a try and I was hooked. So um, the directions do say to apply one coat of the magnetic eyeliner, allow to dry for two minutes, apply a second coat, allow eyeliner to dry completely, and then attach eyelash. So here is the Tori Bell Magnitude Magnetic Eyeliner. I got this in the color black and this tube is made in the USA. Um, this is a new product that recently came out. So it looks like this. All right, it's a wand. You guys have seen liquid eyeliner before. It's this tiny little wand. I cannot do liquid eyeliner. Okay, I can't. So one of my tricks I've always done is I've always applied my own eyeliner. Um, first. My favorite eyeliner of choice is the Tarte Man Eater, and it's like a little felt tip pen, um, and it's really, really easy to apply. So I've always used this first um, as like my, my drawing template, like my blueprint of where I'm going to be putting the liquid at so that I, I'm not making any mistakes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. I got like my little mirror down here. And honestly, I'm not good. Like, I can't just go like that. Like, I have to pull my eye to the side. It's, it's a struggle. Good enough. <laughs> All right, I don't have to let this dry first because this is my own eyeliner and I'm just going in over top with the Tori Bell Magnitude Magnetic Eyeliner. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to use this over top of mine, using it as a blueprint on where the I'm waiting for 
for that cut to dry, I am just going to go over a couple tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So it is very imperative that you do apply the two coats of the liner um, for the maximum adhesion of the magnets. Um, and it is extremely important that you are letting the coats dry completely in between because otherwise, instead of having two coats, you actually just have one giant messy coat. Um, and that's not what you want. Also, it's really important that you are getting the inner as well as the outer corner really well. If you're having issues with the magnets kind of like lifting up on either corner, it's because you don't have enough product on those sides and you really do need to wait at least two minutes um, for them to fully dry. Um, and then that will really help prevent anything from lifting up or not really sticking like it should. All right, so we are at the dry time and I'm gonna go in with my second coat. Same thing. Now, while I'm waiting for the second coat to dry, this is when I'm going to go in and put my mascara on. Not everybody puts mascara on with their eyelashes. However, I have red hair and my eyelashes are extremely, extremely light. So if I don't put mascara on, you can kind of see a little bit of my light eyelashes poking through and it just looks a little weird. So, so the mascara that I am going to be using today, this is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And this is also in the color black. Now I'm not going all out and super crazy with my mascara because I am putting lashes on. This is really just to coat any of those light lashes. <laughs> mascara on and now I'm just going to finish um, waiting for the liner to dry. So again, I'm going to be applying the Date Night Tori Bell Magnetic Eyelashes and these are just so, so, so super amazing. Um, you can trim them to the length that you desire. All you need to do is trim in between. The and lashes magnets. have either um, six or ten magnets depending on the style. Um, so these ones here, they have ten I don't even know why I'm going to try to show you these magnets because they're black magnets on black lashes and it's a camera, but there's 10 there. I counted. They're there. Um, and it's really nice because they're spaced out in a nice order um, to really get on there. So we're going to go ahead and apply them and see what these beauties look like. I'm so excited because I've never tried date night before, so I'm actually super, super excited for these. So when you're applying them, um, you can just use your fingers. If you do use tweezers and you're using typical tweezers, they are gonna stick to this because of the magnets. So you would very, very, very carefully grab them at the end of the lash. Otherwise, you can use a plastic lash out. Right, so it's been two minutes, so let's go ahead and apply these. Very excited. Like I said, I have not tried the date night lashes before, so I'm really excited about this style. Did you guys see that? That was beyond ridiculously amazing. It just, it is on. So now I'm going to do the other side and I'm left-handed so everything is just always awkward when I go to do the other side. So I'm going to try to do it with this hand so you guys can maybe see. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I can't do it. All right, so here we go. And all right, guys, so I think these are super, super pretty. I really like them. They are so beautiful, like really, really pretty. Um, I like how they just give a little bit of drama to the lashes without being a little over dramatic. They look really, really nice. Um, I'm really excited about that. 
So again, these were the date night lashes. If you have any questions on how to apply these lashes, if you have any questions on how to order these lashes, please let me know. I'm going to drop everything in the description box below as well as my social media on how you can connect with me and my affiliate link. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please give this a like and a subscribe and I will see you guys all later. Bye!